Hello, uh, welcome to the first of uh, these little art tips. And what I've got here is a standard roll that you'd normally use for a pencil or, or a pen. And, well actually, if you're going to use it for a pen, I'd recommend you put a little strip of masking tape down the back of it. That helps the roll stick to the board better. It doesn't slide so easily, there's a little bit of extra friction. But this one's a particularly thin masking tape, so it's probably not good enough. So, But if you had thicker tape, or doubled it up, tripled it up, and raise this edge a bit further away so the edge doesn't touch the board or paper. When you run an ink pen down the side of it, the ink doesn't bleed underneath, the kind of capillary action. You've seen it, you've done this, you put an ink line across it and you get this big spread coming across, which is terrible. And raising it with a little bit of masking tape can stop that, but, but we're not doing that here. Here is um, using one of these to paint perfectly straight lines. And the idea is, is you hold the wall very tight and in position, and then you paste, place the ferrule across the edge, not, not the bristles, because that would be disastrous. And then you can use the wall as this guide this finger here can just run along here this edge to help guide you. We've had both both these fingers actually, probably a good idea. And uh, you just do that. So let's let's give it a go for real. Now first of all I've just it's a good idea to uh, just get the excess paint off. Get everything lined up and you, you uh, look to see where the, uh, the tip of the brush is and make sure it ends in the place you want it to end as well. And you, you can just keep adjusting until you get the two ends in just the right place. And when you're happy with that, get a nice straight line and uh, if you want to do a second line in, in a that's parallel with this one you can just get down low and sight the edge of this rule with the line you've already done and get it lined up perfectly a little bit more paint running out a bit there. Now I've got quite a large brush here, but if you want to go a bit more finer, a bit more precise, I've still got uh, long bristles because the long bristles, when you wobble a bit, they're sort of wobbling on purpose here. The spring of the bristles takes some of it up, so it doesn't get rid of it completely. But it's much better than a very short haired brush. So let's try and get some really fine lines. Just lifting a bit too soon there. It helps to stop breathing, but don't do that too much. And there we have it, a very useful tool. 
you can, I'm using a rule here because this is what I've got, but of course, traditionally, artists use those maul sticks with the, um, they're just round with uh, a leather padded end on it, which you can just hold down like this and, and do the same sort of thing. That, that obviously works just as well. But I thought about getting one of those and I find the rule works fine, so I'll carry on with this. Uh, hope that was useful. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.